elements of the building. Consider the advantages and disadvantages of transparent structures, which I classified Classified as adaptive facade, the advantages include a high coefficient of resistance to head transfer as well as high light transmission, but the disadvantage is expensive and labor-intensive production. Transparent structures are made depending on materials used, thermal performance, bearing capacity, method of fixing the insulation glass unit, uh, variant of filling the structural opening, method of installation, and etc. Efficiency of transparent structures depends primarily on the windows profile, glass unit, and the quality of installation. By energy efficiency, glazing is means the glazing, which allows to regulate the energy flows through the window structures. In this case, there is a delay of thermal infrared radiation inside the building and the ultrafiolet spectrum of solar radiation is not transmitted to the outside. Energy efficiency glazing is divided into several types, uh, heat saving, sunscreen and uh, combinate. Low emissive glass is the most common type of energy efficiency glazing as it has high light transmission and transparency and quite high thermal insulation coefficient values. It is Distinction is made between hard energy saving coating, K glass, and soft energy saving coating, I, I glass. Table 1 shows the advantage and disadvantage of hard energy saving coating and soft energy saving coating. Table 2 shows the internal glass temperature measurements for different types of glass under the same conditions. Uh, from the table, uh, you can see that standard windows retain head more than energy saving glass. If we compare between the energy saving glass, the I glass has better performance than the K glass. And in table 3, we summarize the pros and cons of using energy efficient windows uh, regardless of the coating. The self-adaptive facade is implemented as a single system of curtain walls. This facade is presented in three uh, variants uh, prototypes. prototypes. The modular components of the first prototype selfie are on opaque panel that consists of several layers. Uh, the first layer consists of two glass sheets with a PVB film between them. This film is combined with nanomaterials, oxides, nanometals, and is uh, also capable of transmitting visible light and reflection in the in infrared zone. Uh, the second layer is made with a honeycomb panel in the form of um, porous ceramic filled with TO2. Uh, the iron purification effect is activated by visible light. This layer of the system provides forced or natural air circulation. Uh, the light surface of this um, material uh, ensures a homogeneous distribution of the photocatalytic material, uh, which comes into direct um, contact with the air. The next layer is uh, made of uh, mesopause foam glass filed with polymer PCM which in turn reduced an energy consumption in air conditioned room as well as reducing peak loads. Uh, the last layer is made with a sealant which connects the foam glass to the materials. The panel is equipped with slated deflectors on both in, um, the interior and exterior surface. Modular components of the second prototype selfie is an opaque panel which consists of the following layers. The outer layer of DSSC photovoltaic panels for renewable energy production provides good architecture integration. This layer can also be implemented with polycrystalline uh, photocells. The next uh, insulating layer is uh, represented by a phase transition material. 
a heat exchanger um, system reducing the energy consumption of the building in winter and creating micro ventilation inside in summer. Um, a exchanger um, system panel consisting of uh, lightweight materials with good mechanical pro properties which can provide it mechanical safety. The modular components of the third prototype selfie is a transparent panel consisting of the following layers. First pair is a window with a thermal brick frame with a transmitting spectrum of 1.2 W slash M2K and a layer of glass. Two layers, a uh, laminated sheet with a self-cleaning exterior treatment combined with PVB and nanomaterials to keep the glass transparent with visible light and be reflected in the infrared. Um, third uh, layers, an eye cavity containing an electrical shielding system des designed of to optimize the, the, the light inside the building including reducing thermal overheating during the summer months. And uh, four layers, a window with a thermal brick frame with a transmutation factor of 1.2 W slash M2K and a layer of low emissive glass on the outside. The self-adaptive facade is implemented as a single curtain wall system. The modular components are available in different geometric configurations, color and materials. The facade consists of movable and immovable parts uh, with which it is possible to ventilate the room and regulate the temperature inside the building throughout the year. Also, this facade has characteristics such as uh, structural safety is characterized by mechanical resistance to static and dynamic loads, impact resistance, fire resistance, resistance to deformation, safety um, to indoor comfort is provided by air permeability, uh, water resistance, heat transfer coefficient, uh, hydrothermal in solution, thermal inertia, daylight and sun protection sound in solution. Um, maintainability in um, inserted by the choice of a create modular elements which allow repairing the facade system without changing the general facade. Guarantee for users to manage the facade even in the absence of an automated system. With the development of technologies, the variety of adaptive modular facades is only increasing. The development of these structures is influenced by both social and economic factors. The social factors influence the choice of the building with kinetic facades. As adaptive architecture allows to satisfy uh, the prefer preference of people, the economic factor will limit the use of kinetic facades since they are not ready-made design solutions for such facades and the development and implementation of such facades is complex and uh, labor-consuming, um, which makes the projects more expensive. However, the introduction of adaptive building envelopes can be uh, a prof profitable investments which will pay off. The effectiveness of adaptive building envelopes is unambiguous. The introduction of such technologies allows the safe natural research, reduce the power consumptions of the building, minimize harmful emissions into the environment from the processing of traditional electricity.